okay good noon guys sorry to sorry this was late because some other class was going on uh, with respect to i think regarding the dna uh, she took more than two hours since from 9 30 the scheduled class was from 9 30 to 10 30 but still now also the class was continuing so sorry to interrupt in that class also and further we will continue today's class on uh, long I hope um, my voice is clear and the screen is visible yes, now. Okay then, we will continue the class then. Okay. Today we will discuss on uh, another important component of garden that is lawn. What do you mean by lawn? Lawn means it's a piece of land thickly covered with a uniform green soft grass. It's also called as green carpet. You consider lawn means nothing but a thickly covered land with a green grass. This is called lawn or green carpet. This is also, it is also like a cushion or velvet carpet gives the pleasure for both for the viewers and feelers. And further, heart is considered as a, a lawn is considered as the heart of the garden. Why? It is the center place around which all the garden elements are placed in subordinate order like the royal court. This is why the lawn is called heart of the garden. Uh, and the concept of lawn was introduced by Englishmen. This, this is very important uh, topic or objective type questions where you can expect in your competitive exams. Britishers introduced the lawn concept. It is the heart of the garden. Main feature. Then coming to uh, some of the important cool season, cool season grasses like, wait, I will hide this. Uh, cool season grasses like, uh, you try to remember the common names, not uh, not the scientific name. Blue grass, this is very important. Poya species. Then ray grass. Then fescue. Bent grass. Red fescue. Then Kentucky blue grass. This is very important. Kentucky bluegrass. It is a shade tolerant. Comes under cool season means which thrives under which can tolerate the frost condition. Mainly this can these uh, species are mainly recommended for the temperate cli climate. That's why they are referred as cool season crops, cool season grasses. Then warm season means the, these species can't withstand the frost or low temperature. These are mainly recommended for the tropical regions or for the subtropical regions. These are mainly used in Indian subcontinent. Bermuda grass, buffalo grass, carpet grass, centipede grass, then St. Augustine. This is also very important. It's also highly shade tolerant species. Then coming to lawn. Selection of grasses. A good grass is one which should Put up the fair growth in a uniform texture and great tolerance for the biotic or abiotic stresses. Then some of the common grasses which we used in our uh, Indian subcontinent are Calcutta dube grass, Korean grass, then Jade velvet grass, St. Augustine grass, then Mexican grass, Kentucky blue grass, Bermuda grass and green gem. These are the important grass species we used in India. Coming to Mexican grass. This is a Mexican grass uh, mainly used in Indian subcontinent. Then this is the Kentucky blue grass. Then Calcutta dew grass or Hareli grass or Cyanodon rectulon. You remember the other vernacular names also and this scientific name also. Because in the multiple choice of uh, questions they will give either the this scientific name or the other vernacular name or the common name. This is mainly used in the Indian subcontinent in the cricket stadium. Mainly in the warmer regions. Warm regions. Then ribbon grass. Chlorophytum. Chlorophytum variegatum. This is not that much used in India. Then coming to the soil and site selection for the lawn. It should be slopey. Then with respect to preparation of soil, how to kill the weeds and other uh, 
harmful fungi and bacteria those are all common techniques then preparation of soil how we how we will going to prepare the soil by the addition of organic matter then compost then fertilizers bone meals further we will go for the planting after the irrigation if we have the irrigation we can plant throughout the year otherwise only before the monsoon showers we have different methods of lawn establishment mainly the seed sowing dibbling turf tuffing and turf plastering these are the main te techniques seed sowing seed sowing it's seed sowing where it is followed mainly where the grass cuttings or the root cuttings are not easily available then they will go for the seed sowing this is very late uh, it will take more time for establishment of the land here the dew grass seeds is very light and fine proper care should be taken during the sowing mainly we sow dew grass in india that too while seed sowing they are so light and fine so we will mix with the compost or sand while spreading in the main field what is the seed rate of uh, lawn preferably while seed uh, while uh, uh, seed sowing in lawn particularly we divide into uh, 200 meter square or 300 meter square plots the uh, for 200 meter square the seed rate will be 500 grams generally they will say the 2.5 grams per meter square you remember 2.5 grams per meter square or 500 grams per 200 meter square they may give the options like 2.5 grams per meter square also and 500 grams per 200 meter square also so you try to remember both then coming to then after sowing we should uh, water regularly and some and one more problem with the seed sowing is the ant will carry out the seeds so we have to treat the seeds with the bhc or heptachlor so that the seeds will not carry by the rodents or the ants this is also one of the main problem in seed sowing then another common method of planting adopted in indian garden is dibbling or turfing you remember the dibbling is one of the common practice and the cheapest practice followed in india common practice and cheapest one you remember this one dibbling means here the grass dibbles this plant uh, plant bunch uh, commonly five to six stems of small were dibbled into the soil prepared soil with the uh, plant spacing of 15 into 15 centimeter then usually the mexican or korean grasses are generally used in the dibbling then turfing this is also very important one turfing why it's very important it is the quickest method of lawn establishment the piece of turf is placed side by side uh, close to each other in the pattern of bricks so that we can establish the lawn within a day then after the laying out we will uh, give a light roll on the bricks so that it will attach to the soil and it takes very short time within a day only we can establish the lawns these are the tufts roll tufts then tough plastic tough plastic means the plast is a fine paste is prepared by mixing the garden soil fresh cow dung and water for that we will use the bits of chopped fresh roots or stems or the rhizomes of dew grubs this mixture is spread evenly on the surface in the moistened surface we will spread the this mixture roots stems or rhizomes mixed with the garden soil cow dung and water this is called turf plastering it seems like plastering uh, house plastering uh, we will do the cement plastering uh, like that only we will prepare the fine paste then we will go for spread 
and this method is not suitable in dry and variable climate you remember this is not suitable in dry climate then coming to the maintenance of lawn generally uh, the weeds are the main problem in lawn that too the cypress rotundus mammoth nut grass this is very important this is noxious weed in the lawn you remember cypress rotundus then moving moving is also one of the important operation should be done regularly to maintain the lawn in a good form why we need to move there are many purpose to move in the garden uh, in the lawn because this moving will uh, help the help the uh, help to maintain the height of the lawn what should be the ideal height it should be 5 to 6 cm or uh, exactly at 5 cm the general thumb rule for moving is we should cut off 1 by 3 of the height of lawn this is the general thumb rule we should remove 1 by 3 of the height then this is the bike lawn mover here it will move the lawn it will cut the grass at the specific height then this is lawn mower with the four adjustable gauge wheels then this is solar powered lawn mowers and it is rotary lawn mower generally in india we use the rotary mowers in the garden and for the sweeping after lawn mowing the cut out grasses should be cleaned off in every morning and evening hours and also it includes the fallen leaves and other debris this is termed as sweeping we should clean clean the lawn after the moving for the liming why liming is important in lawn because uh, we will regularly water the lawn that to through sprinkler irrigation so the mosses growth will be more in the lawn due to more moisture so uh, to avoid that moss growth we use the powdered chalk or lime applied at the rate of 200 grams per meter square you remember liming is the important horticulture operation followed in the lawn to avoid the moss growth this is important one then for the manuring and fertilization after scraping and raking the scraping and raking is done in lawn in order to create the aeration in the lawn you remember this point then after the scraping and raking we will go for the top dressing with the garden soil coarse sand and the leaf mold in 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio this is very important top dressing in lawn is done in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 of garden soil coarse sand and leaf mold you remember this one then for the rolling rolling is also important horticulture operation followed in the lawn establishment or lawn maintenance rolling why it is done in order to anchor or to attach with the soil or the ground so lawn moving uh, rolling is done and also it prevents the mold formation especially in the joycea grass mold formation will be avoided by rolling then raking what do you mean by raking raking means we use the garden rakes it's a, it's like a sickle to loosen the soil to provide more aeration so it will avoid the uh, soil compactness then for the with respect to diseases the yellow rings yellow ring po uh, ring spots are fairy rings this is the one of the important disease in lawn it is more prevalent in wet weather how you how you will control the fungal diseases this is a fungal disease fairy ring spot is a fungal disease you will use the fungicides you will drench examples copper oxy chloride or dimethane or bavestin at 1 gram per liter these are all the general recommendation for fungal diseases 
then further some of the important pest what are the important pest earthworm this is a very frequently asked question in the in your competitive exam though the earthworm is considered as a form of friend it creates difficulty in lawn by depositing the filthy excrete means if you observe in the lawn where the moisture is more the earthworms will exudate or it will bore the soil and it will deposit the inner soil into up the soil mounds will be formed in the lawns so it, this will create the uh, anesthetic wave in the garden so the earthworms are problematic in lawn further how you will control this first we have to check the population if the population is too high then we can go for the use of furidone or porate instead of other chemicals we can also use the neem cakes pongamia cake it will repel the earthworms for the frost injury frost injury this is a major problem in north indian condition this is mainly the grass is injured mainly due to frost or the low temperature in the north indian subcontinent this is the bermuda grass lawn mainly used in the cricket stadiums in indian subcontinent in the warmer condition this is the lawn mower then for the you are hearing right anyone can respond yes sir okay then uh, see some of the photos regarding the lawn usually what is the general thumb rule in a home garden we should uh, we should keep about 60 to 70 percent of the lawn 70 percent of the area for the lawn this is the general thumb rule in a home garden then it is a heart of the garden it's also called as natural green carpet then these are the seeds used for the establishment of lawn so these are all very light in weight so we will mix the sand or compost while seed sowing what is the seed rate 500 grams per 200 meter square or 2.5 grams per meter square then dibbling dibbling means here the 5 to 6 branches are dibbled into the soil for already well established or well prepared land we will going to dibbel this is the cheapest way and slowest method dibbling is the cheapest way of lawn establishment and slowest method among the methods further this is the common method common method followed in india also then turfing turfing means this is how the tufts are joined together to establish a quick lawn then bricking bricking is not a method of lawn establishment it's a horticulture operation followed or practiced in order to replace the unwanted or unhealthy patch of lawn if you observe if if some patch is if the some lawn patch is damaged due to some fungal attack or from the pest so we can go for the bricking we can replace that unhealthy patch then some of the important horticulture operations in the lawn maintenance are lawn rolling moving manuring scraping raking watering weeding then leveling the ground then this is moving we should follow one by third thumb rule generally 5 to 6 cm is retain after moving then lawn watering this is scraping for the warmer season we use bermuda grass this is the photo of bermuda grass this is a very hardy so it will make a excellent turf in indian subcontinent this is 
Mexican grass. This is Joycea japonica. This is mainly used in smaller areas or home garden. Then this is Kentucky bluegrass suited for the cool and moist condition. Then Centuque Augustine grass. This is also one of the cool season and can tolerate the shade. And different types of grasses like this, this is carpet grass, seashore grass, Bermuda grass, Bahia grass, St. Augustine grass, centipede grass. This is the creeping bent grass. This is Kentucky bluegrass. The Kentucky bluegrass is mainly adapted in the athletic fields, golf, golf fairways. In the golf courts also, we use the Kentucky bluegrass. This is rough bluegrass, fine fescue. And this is hard fescue, red fescue. These are all temperate uh, species. Then further we will discuss some of the important bulletins, uh, important points from the uh, one of the important floriculture book. Uh, are you there? Listen. Yes. Okay. Uh, further, uh, calm. Calm is also one of the important terminology you can expect in the general agri type questions. What do you mean by calm? Where you will, uh, where it is associated? Calm. This terminology heard in the rice paddy. It's an elongated inflorescence. Calm is a botanical name or botanical terminology given for the monocotyledons inflorescence. This is very important objective objective type point. Then vernation on the leaf tip. These are all the two identi identifying characters of grasses. How you going to identify the grasses means based on is leaf vernation and the leaf tip. Then the whole inflorescence we call. What do you call the whole inflorescence? Spike. What? Spike. No. Yeah, a spike is right. The whole inflorescence in and it will differ based on the type of grass. Spike, resume, panicle. If it if it comes in Joycea or uh, Saint Augustine, we call resume. In Poya grass, we call panicle. Generally, we call uh, spike only. The individual unit will call spikelets. What do you mean by legule? What do you mean by aricel? Yes, in wheat, sir. Wheat. What? This terminology is associated with wheat. Yeah. This is also uh, you will find in paddy and other monocotyledons crops. What do you mean by ligule? You heard of it? Yes, sir. What do you mean by ligule? It's a leaf sheath. In paddy you will find the leaf sheath now. Membrana scale. These are all the terminologies associated with the monocotyledon. Weeds are the commercial crops like paddy and wheat. This ligule is a structure that grows from the collar region, inner side of the leaf. This is ligule. And 
further how you will uh, going to propagate based on the type of grass you see here kentucky blue grass through rhizomes then cynodon this is very important with respect to our indian subcontinent cynodon and joycea mainly through rhizomes and stole and further uh, other important points like here the kentucky blue grass this is poya species this is a improved cultivar kentucky blue grass is a cool season grass further then you remember this one weeping alkaline grass weeping alkali grass oxanella this is mainly why it is very important means it is tolerant for the high sodium content in the soil it is a tolerant for the high so sodium content in the soil this is very important then warm season grasses like bermuda grass cynodon this is mainly used in our cricket stadiums then this joycea joycea or korean grass or japanese lawn grass this is tolerant to cold winters and drought and shade you remember this is tolerant to drought shade and cold winters not for the frost then saint augustine this is this is also excellent shade tolerant grass species low maintenance grass species is bahia grass this is low maintenance grass species general term rule area of garden should be devoted to lawn is 60 to 75 percent or 60 to 70 percent. This is important. Seed propagation. Then best time for seed propagation for the warmer season grasses like grasses is spring. We, we if we want to go for the seed propagation, we go for the you grow in the spring season. then what is the general seed rate 2.5 grams per meter square or 25 kg per hectare or 10 to 12 kg per acre they will give in multiple type of question so you remember all these points because they may give 2.5 grams or 25 kg or 10 to 12 kg or 500 grams per 200 meter square they can give any option that's why Hi, what do you mean by hydro seeding? Hydro seeding means what? It is nothing but it's a planting procedure that employs the use of hydrophilic equipment to disperse the thick suspension or the slurry of seeds, mulch, fertilizer and water. It is followed in the turf plastering method of seed production as method of lawn establishment. Hydro seeding, you remember this concept. What do you mean by sodding or turfing? It's the it's a very easiest and expensive method of lawn establishment. Turfing or sodding, both are same. Then springing, dibbling, stolonization. These are also vernacular names. They may ask, they may give any of the specific word like stolonization, dibbling or springing. What do you mean by that? This is also a process of spreading the stolons on the surface of soil. It's also propagation technique. Then what do you mean by plugging? It's a process of using the small piece of sod transplanted in the soil at an intermittent intervals. Plugging means 
use of small piece of lawn to transplant in the soil this is called plugging then strip sodding then turf plastering for the golf course the bobuda grass joysia grass or are the grass species used for the golf courts generally we will allow only 5 to 6 cm after the moving this is very important tough grass should be moved at the height of 6 to 7 cm it means only we will allow 5 cm or 6 cm after the moving the general thumb rule is we should move 33 to 40 percent you remember 30 to 40 percent should be removed after moving one by third after the moving we should follow sweeping then rolling then top dressing scraping raking slicing spiking what do you mean by slicing and uh, spiking we will going to slice or we will going to penetrate the series of knives into a lawn why we create that why we practice in order to loosen the lawn or the soil to create the aeration otherwise it will going to develop the mold or the soil become compact for the core aeration is also important these are all the special techniques followed in the lawn management or turf grass management these are all very important terminologies you need to remember then top dressing then de detaching means what it's a process of removal of a layer of dead or decaying organic debris from the lawn you remember detaching de detach means you remove out of lawn you remember like that you remove out of lawn you remove the dead one or decaying one or anything which is unwanted on the lawn area then astroturf this is also important uh, concept this david chenye he is a head of north california university he created the concept of astroturf astroturf means it's an artificial lawn this was first installed in Texas. First installed in the Texas. You remember this one. This artificial grass is made up of fine fibers based on the material such as polyethylene or polypropylene or nylon material. This artificial grass is made up of polyethylene, polypropylene or nylon material. You remember this one. This is also very important. Then some of the important diseases like leaf spot, fairy ring spot, this is due to basidiomycetes. The circular pattern of dead rings were observed in the lawn. The fruiting bodies of mushrooms may be observed in the ring spots. The patch of lawn will be dyed due to these diseases, due to this fungal disease. Then brown patch is there, dollar spot, this is also important one. Necrotic ring spot is there, yellow patch is there, snow mold is there. These are all the important diseases in lawn. With respect to important pest, earthworm, white grubs, then cutworms, termite. This is also major problem in the dry soil condition. Mainly it feeds on the roots of lawn. How are we going to control the termites? Mainly through mechanical destruction of the mounds. Or for the following the drenching of soil with the chloropyrifos this is the only way to control the termites we, we should destroy the mound and use the chloropyrifos drenching this will complete the tough grass management these are all the important points with respect to for your competitive Are you there? Yes. 
listening right yes sir okay further any doubts or any queries or any points to add for this discussion tough grass management these are all the important points no sir okay then if it is a case who are they where are the other guys yes speak out other guys yes ankita listening right hello dev yes no problem okay uh, if it is a case then we'll close the meeting we'll uh, discuss the another concept in next class okay 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 then. We'll close the meeting today. Only two guys there.